our middle school students and Amplify users. Today we're going to be doing the activity that will help you be able to answer all the questions within Amplify Lesson 2.3 in plate motion. Uh, they've asked us to use two towels and two chairs and should we show the plates, these are tectonic plates as they're moving together and they converge, what ends up happening is one of the plates starts to subduct underneath the other one and what that creates is a few structures so we'll be able to determine the structures that are on our surface of our earth and provide evidence as to what's going on with the earth itself. In this situation, Right here, we've got a trench being formed when one plate is subducting underneath another one. Where my hand is here, we're seeing that the downgoing plate starts to dewater and melt and the material works its way up because it becomes less dense as it adds energy. It works its way up through the surface and we end up with volcanic structures on top of typically what's a continental plate. Sometimes it's oceanic, oceanic plates that converge and you also get volcanoes coming out of the plate that's being subducted underneath. And you get island arcs on top of the continents. You get a cascade mountain range like out in Washington with Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens which erupted in 1980. So you've also got a trench like you would with the Nazca plate right here with the Nazca plate subducting you end up with a trench. So this is a convergent boundary. Uh, this is what Amplify is wanting to show you. 